for years I thought I could hear very clearly and um, can you hear all right in this room so as I evolve and enjoy life more and understand contrast more what I hear isn't as loud it isn't as clear what can I do to help center myself more so I can hear source even more clearly well you know the more you acclimate the more natural it feels sometimes you recall an earlier time when you weren't always tuned into it so when you did tune in it was almost startling for a minute in fact sometimes it was so startling you tuned out almost as soon as you tuned in it was like sort of shocking but the more you acclimate to it the more it doesn't feel like something extraordinary is happening the laws of the universe are not difficult to grasp now we want to point out what you're doing right here and everyone will sort of get it it's easier for them to hear it even than for you to but do you hear what you're focused on what you're focused on is I'm not hearing as clearly as I would like to and so what's the stance of your vibration Understood. and so even when you say it or notice it there's this feeling that I'm blocking something and you've learned enough from us and others and from life to know that a desire is one frequency and a belief is another and if the belief about the desire isn't the same as the desire then there's a sort of blocking going on and so you set yourself up pretty good for this blockage you said through life I could hear and for a while I could hear clearly and now I'm not hearing as clearly and we want to say that's why I didn't know how else to ask the question. So. It's the perfect way to ask the question. It's the way life causes you to ask the question. There's not anything inappropriate about your question. Your perfect question lets us offer you this perfect answer. And it ties into what we were talking about earlier. Observation is what sets the vibrational tone for most. And so when you decide, I must not be hearing as clearly, first of all, you know, rather than using the word hearing, let's use the word focusing on the energy stream because we're not yelling in Esther's ear and then she's yelling it out to you we're not whispering in her ear and she's yelling it out to you we are offering our knowledge in the form of vibration and that she is interpreting so when you say hear what you really mean is receive and to receive you know from your electronics your tuner has to be set to what you're reaching for but the thing about this hearing from non-physical is that step one is that's the question step two is source offers the answer step three is you got to receive the answer and so as you're standing there with the asking and with trying to hear the answer sometimes your asking gets in the way of hearing the answer does that make sense it's like you're so aware of what is which just makes you ask so hard for what you really want which causes source energy to answer with great clarity and depth and breath but if you're all balled up in the question you can't hear the answer so you want to put some conscious separation between the asking and the receiving of the answer so when you see when you see the cooperative components start to unfold in front of you and you get excited about it that little voice in my head starts to go what's next what's and how do, you, how do you control that so you don't put the brakes on the process? Well, just pay attention to the way you're feeling. We're going to give you a, an example of this. You're really going to like this. It speaks exactly to where you are and what you're asking for. And so many others too. We're going to throw out some statements that we just want to settle in with you. Sort of starting in a building process. So as you receive one, the next will be easier to hear and the next and the next and so on. So you create your own reality and you offer a vibration that law of attraction responds to and that's how you do it and you've been doing it and you've got a reality around you that you've already created these are big words you've got a reality around you that you've already created that's in the way of the one you are trying to create now because it's full of things that you are observing and it's full of things that you believe that are in the way of what you're now asking for you kind of get that don't you I want it but 
think about anyone that you've been trying to encourage in something and as soon as you start being optimistic about their situation they get really logical and argue for their limitations and after a little while you sort of want to give it up with them because it's like you've talked me into it you can't do this <laughs> well you have this same sort of struggle going on within yourself your desires are being challenged by your beliefs but your beliefs will morph and modify to satisfy the expansion of that which you are about it is the eternal nature of all that we all are so there is this now reality that as you're involved in it and how can you not be and you're seeing it and hearing it and smelling it and tasting it and touching it and how can you not be and that observation is in the way so over time we've written a whole lot of books with a whole lot of processes to help you to bridge those beliefs to help you lighten the tension on those beliefs that are preventing you sometimes from going to where you want to go well it's one way of doing it and it is an effective way of doing it it's a tedious way of doing it it's kind of a slow going way of doing it there is an even faster way of doing it but you're so practical minded and most of you want to dig in and make it happen and so the processes that we offer Esther uses many of them every day for tuning for aligning we are encouraging that you utilize them to your benefit but we want to hear right now give you an understanding of something and a little new methodology that will answer the problems or the question that you just presented to us here so here it is we have established that now reality is in the way because there's so much to observe so if I don't have enough money and I'm saying I want more money saying I want more money activates the stick about money and since that I don't have enough money into the stick is the most active into the stick then I sort of don't make any progress most times when I bring it up so something is required to make it easier to activate the what I want into the stick without activating the what I've got into the stick or what I really don't want into the stick because the stick is really two subjects and you've practiced one end of it more than the other end of it no matter what the subject is so imagine that you have a pile of sticks and one of them is about money and one of them is about sexuality and one of them is about lovers one of them is about religion every subject in the world one of them is about how you want your house to look and what color of paint you even like in other words it's a big old pile of sticks and there's the what I want end of the stick and the what I don't want into the stick and those ends of the stick are vibrational in nature and the wanted end of the stick is a very different frequency than the what I don't want into the stick. So you could, if you could catch it early before you're already on this end of the stick, you could take a subject that you feel mostly really good about and you could focus on it, even daydream around it a little bit. And you could accomplish an activation of a vibration that puts you solidly on this end of the stick which means and this is what we want you to hear now you have access to every stick in the pile from that end it's so much easier to find any stick in the pile that feels good to you path of least resistance good and then to get to the solution of every problem in the world or to the answer to every question in the world so much easier to do it that way than to be on the other end of the stick and try to convince yourself that what you really want is the other end of that stick are you following we want you to approach your stick pile <laughs> there's a contradiction in the words that we're going to offer to you here vibrationally rather than physically and the stick pile itself is what we meant by the contradiction in that we want you to be a vibrational seeker rather than a subject by subject seeker in other words we want you to care about your vibration you see if we can convince you that you care about your vibration and we can get you to do some things that allow you to allow your vibration to rise 
Now you have access to everything that's in the vortex. And now the magical seeming unfolding of this phase of your life, meaning this minute and the next minute and the next minute, maybe a few hours of it, are going to unfold in a way that they often don't unfold. Haven't you noticed the better it gets, the better it gets, and the worse it gets, the worse it gets? Haven't you ever gotten off on a negative run where everything that happens goes wrong? You forget this, and you forget this, and you forget this, and then you stub your toe, and then this happens, and then this happens, and then you slam your hand in the door, and then this happens, and then this happens, and then you go to the doctor, and he cuts the wrong finger off. <laughs> it's time for a nap to stop the moment. In other yeah. words, the better it gets, the better it gets, the better it gets, the better it gets, the better it gets. But the worse it gets, the worse it gets, the worse it gets, the worse it gets. Because law of attraction is always in action. Law of attraction is always responding to you. Now we're going to make some of those basic statements that we said we would make. One who's connected to the stream or to the source energy or who is under the influence of source is more powerful than millions who aren't. So there's so much power in the accomplishment of this. We're just wanting you to care about reaching for it. And the next thing that we want to say is that when you are creating your own reality, let's say it's a business enterprise that you're in the process of creating or a relationship, or it's a project that is more confined, like the building of a building or anything, almost a hundred percent of it is created before you buy the land, before you buy the first wood or the first nail, before you meet the first person or hire the first employee. In other words, most of your creation is accomplished vibrationally before you even begin. And what happens with most people, we love you so much, is that you create it through this dream state, through life that has helped you to put it into this vortex. But when you get into that vibrational frequency, what's in there will occur. It will be revealed to you in the daydream that you are dreaming. Does that make sense to you? If you're in the vicinity of it, you'll start finding thoughts about it and feeling thoughts about it. And when you face reality, you begin a deconstructing of it. Now, those are not accurate words because you can't deconstruct what's in your vortex. You can never let yourself live any of it. You can wait until you croak to even recognize the hugeness of it and the validity of it. But this will never be deconstructed and your inner being and all of your inner beings buddies, all of us are hanging out there witnessing the cooperative components being gathered. In other words, it's a big deal what's happening on your behalf. You have to find some way of being in the vibrational vicinity so that it can begin occurring to you not just because that's how the manifestations happen not just because that's how these thoughts turn to things but because that's how you live happily ever after that's the only way that you live happily ever after you can't have allowed your life to build this vibrational reality and you have allowed your life to build this vibrational reality and be in any moment in time depriving yourself of it because you're focused in opposition to it you can't be doing that and feel good at the same time that always sucks that always feels bad it always feels like defeat or disappointment it always feels like tension but when you turn just the slightest in the direction of what you want that's all it takes for positive emotion to replace negative emotion just be turned and facing in the direction of this because the momentum of your attention in that direction will become greater and greater and greater until you will feel the power and the rhythm of it and you will be in that place of receptive mode that place of reception where you will understand that where you will understand it because words don't teach it's life experience that teaches so as we speak to you these laws of the universe and you feel the resonance of them if you can accept that you are vibrational and that you have a vibrational reality and that it is calling you and the better you feel the more you are tuned and turned that way and the worse you feel the more you've got some belief that is still stuck in your vibrational craw that you've got activated that is preventing you from allowing yourself to be called in the direction of what you really want once you consciously acknowledge this and then you start living life and watching what you begin to notice is there's an absolute every single time correlation between your mood and attitude and what is unfolding it's either magical or not magical and there's some stuff in between but not really very much you have strong emotions these days you have tuned enough to who you are that when you're out of tune with who you are you really feel it 
People say to us, is it normal for all hell to break loose in my life once I begin playing with you? And we say, sort of, kind of, because you activate the wholeness of who you are, which makes it less tolerable to be in a vibrational frequency that is not who you really are. This is a really good time for a segment of refreshment.